Welcome to the Pollock Report's Inside the Grooming Bag, where we see how people get their thoroughbreds to look their very best across the industry. This episode is sponsored by Midway University, and I'm Bloodstock Editor Joe Nevels. There are a lot of times in a thoroughbred's life when it's important for them to look good, but perhaps none more so than when they're at a sale. A horse is a walking advertisement for itself on the sale grounds, and a coat that's just a little too dull might be enough to turn someone off from making a big investment. We visited the Lane's End consignment at last year's Phasing Tipton Kentucky Fall Yearling Sale to see how they shine their horses up for the sale ring. Watching the precision of their team is like watching a NASCAR pit crew get a car back out on the track. They can get a horse from the stall to ring ready in 10 to 15 minutes. Jose Ochoa of Lane's End will talk us through the steps with HIP 972, a colt by City of Light. He'll show us some of the tools they use and how they keep the horses calm through what can be a hectic process. But first, a word from our friends at Midway University. There is one university that stands out in equine education. From its 200-acre campus in the heart of horse country, Midway University provides hands-on training to undergraduate students and offers programs in equine management, rehabilitation, and pre-veterinary science. For athletes, Midway provides scholarship opportunities on its hunt seat and western equestrian teams. Now, for the first time, Midway is offering an online equine business and sales degree and an advanced equine MBA degree for students anywhere. Find out more at midway.edu. Hey, uh, my name is Jose Ochoa, and, I, we're, and I'm uh, working at Lane's Inn, and we're working with 972. I've been working here for two years, Lane's Inn. Uh, the, I didn't know, I was trying to figure out and I was curious to work at the cells. So one day they uh, allowed me to go to the cells and I went and I liked it. I liked the process and the work. So what we do is we try to clean up the horse as uh, clean as we can and make them uh, shiny. And uh, what we do is uh, groom them first with brush. We brush them off and we, uh, there's this yellow rag where we uh, use to clean the, the body up cleaner. And we uh, clean up the mane, make it straighten. And we put, uh, we put cowboy magic, make it shinier. That purple is like a shampoo to clean up the white, the white uh, spots uh, cleaner. Helps it clean it better. So we first uh, we we, uh, we brush it off, make it untringled, and we put uh, we try to make it uh, shiny, shiny, and make it look um, just makes it look good and straighten. Uh, we, we just go slow and calm, not make them like we stay as uh, focused and not rush into them because they might be uh, sensitive on their body and we just try to go as calm as we can. One's for, it makes it uh, shinier and the other one is just the paint that goes after the shiny spots just to make it, just to look shiny. You basically do the same thing, it don't matter the color, lighter or the darker, it's just uh, the darker ones just tend to be uh, shinier than the lighter ones. <laughs> Like five people, it just makes the process faster and better. Does everyone have a specific job, or is it kind of? Uh, it's kind of like randomly. Like if you uh, want to join in, you re you either help them finish or you find something different to do. You just help the person grooming the horse to go faster. Here we're all signed up into their own horse to get them out. Gotcha. They all have partners. He was 
was kind of like jumpy, but we pro uh, we worked it out together, made it process faster, and stayed calm. These horses are meant to be like uh, not rush into them and either go slow and work with them. Uh, we uh, look at them. If we see like they might be uh, nervously, we just go slow. Uh, we, we try to work around around them, not make them nervous. Uh, so it's a little bit quicker once we show it out here, but when we go to go to the ring, it, we put it more, uh, make it more effort because we, we got more time to put in the work and we make we try to make it as shiny as we can. Vigilant of Orange, number 970 through 976. Please come to the outside walking ring, 970 through 976. Okay. Do, they do a lot of good stuff here at the SUS and um, the grooms and stuff. I think that they should be shown and they, they should let, uh, show their work and the experience they got, make them know. Hip 973, signed by Legacy Bloodstock as agent.